So I want to think about something like 3x plus 5s. So if I think about x plus 5, I'm going to think about this in a, in a uh, algebra tile sort of way. So x plus 5, there's an x and 5 ones. So 1, 2. So there's an x plus 5. And I'm going to have three of those. So let's see. I think I'll just, maybe I can duplicate them. So notice what I have now is three of these groups, and I'm gonna I'm gonna organize them. So, so there's an x plus five. Now there's two of them lined up, and now there'll be three of them lined up. So what I want you to notice is that's one way to think of three x plus fives. And what is uh, what I like about this is I can think about these side lengths. Remember, like this distance right here is one. So this this side length is three long. This is x long, and this one, two, three, four is five ones. So five. So notice what I have is three. That's one side of my rectangle. X plus five is the other side of my rectangle. And area is length times width. So this is the same as, well, what do I have? Three x's plus three rows of five, 15 ones. In other words, both of these are getting tripled. The x is getting tripled and the five is getting tripled. Let me think about another example like this. I have four x minus twos. Well, an x minus two looks like this, and I'm going to have four of them, right? That's what that's telling me. So two, three, four. Again, notice this side is four long, right? Four ones. This side up here, this is an x and this is a negative two. Four multiplied by x minus two, well, that would be four x's and negative eight ones. Great, so there's, there's, a, there's that idea of that distributive property. Uh, I'm gonna shift it to a little bit, a little bit more complicated of one. So what if I had a two X times X plus three? Well, let me, let me build that here. So one side is two X long and the other side is X plus three long. So if one side is 2x is long, like that's how long it is, and the other side is x plus 3 long. I'm going to just, and I'm just using these to frame out my edge, right? Like my actual shape is in here, but this is just the long. So this is 2x long, this is an x long, and then what was my, what was my other side? Uh, plus 3. So 2x's and x plus 3, well, x times x is x squared, so these x squareds will fill in here. And then x times 1 is x, so these x's will fill in here. Pull these out of here, because they were just my frame. So again, notice, this side is 2x, right? This side's x, this side's x, so this is my 2x. That's how long this side is. This side is x plus 3 long. And if I multiply that out, what do I get? I get 2x squareds. 1, 2, 3, and 6x's. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x.